Now, time for the cliffs. Using my white pencil, I'll just do one first of all and show you how we proceed with that. Now, we've got a shadow to put in, and I'm going to use the grey for that. Let's see. Cross here. Got the shaper. And blend that in. That's great. Now with the colour, with that on the colour shaper, you can also put, transfer some of the grey into the white. Just to make it look a little less stark. And on this edge here, we'll also have some grey because the shadow will be hitting this side. So let's put this in. Now you see immediately we're going to have a little problem when we get down to the bottom here because we've got dark water and dark shadow. How do we get out of that? Just blend that in. Well, what we have to do there is to make that just a little darker. But at the same time, I also want to put a little it needs to put green eventually on the top and the edge of the cliff. Like that. And then we can put in um, a little green. This is 173 green. It can be put on top of the cliff. Like that. Just a little bit of that depth. But we want some more depth. And the only colour, well, the only colour I've got in the 24 range, but we'll do it with this one. And this is 175. And I'll make that just a little darker. Don't need to do any more there. But down here, this now does have to be a little stronger. Particularly there where we have that water. Great. I also think it's worth just putting a little bit of the grey in too. This is 273, back to the, the one I used there. And put just a little texture into the cliff. You should have a shaper once again. Now, because that's so far away, we can't really have any more than that. I think that that would be fine. And you could leave it. And I don't think you'd need to do any more. Probably what I would do is just come back in with the white and just emphasize just a few highlights. Now what about that? Could that be darker? Well it could. Let me show you how you're going to do this. We've got this little um, problem if we're not careful because this edge will also be dark. So just very lightly apply the 175 and blend that in with the colour shaper. And I don't really think we can do much more than that at the moment. We may have to do some adjustment. 